There is an invisible Chinese army that has affected you. It's not very subtle. In fact, it's more like a sledgehammer, but you wouldn't have known that it was there. Their strength is their numbers. Their job is to hide any embarrassing or disturbing facts about China and ensure that only the CCP's viewpoint and narrative are allowed. Ask yourself a question. What is it that you really know about China? And what is it that has shaped your ideas of China? Of course, we have Kung Fu movies that taught us that China is a, a mystical place with temples and dragons and tradition and culture. We also have the news of yesteryear that painted China as this kind of communist overlord society where you could very easily be arrested and tried and executed and your family billed for the cost of the bullet. Neither of these viewpoints are accurate. But most importantly, the current narrative that we're all being fed, especially through China's massive covert and overt soft power machine, is that China is powerful economically, militarily, technologically, and morally. We are to look to China for guidance on how to have a harmonious society, lift people out of poverty, and deal with crises like the COVID pandemic. China is beautiful with gorgeous scenery, and most importantly, that if anything goes wrong, it's never the CCP's or China's fault. It's always someone or something else. If the problem cannot be hushed up, or if it is too drastic, such as a natural disaster, then we will demonstrate how quickly, efficiently, and heroically we band together to fight the problem and make other nations jealous. Why is it that even the most tiny fracture or misstep of American or British culture has huge spotlights pointed at them and massive discussions and news cycles, and yet the discussions of large and internationally important issues surrounding China are sidelined, non-existent, or completely hushed up? Yeah, if you come from Africa country, you can go in our building. Why is it that we are bombarded with headlines about some British school and what they're serving for lunch and how it can be deemed offensive, but there are no headlines about the serious and frequent mass kindergarten stabbings in China? Surely you can see there's an imbalance in the reporting around the world. Small, insignificant things are blown out of proportion when it comes to the West, but we never hear about these very big and important issues that affect China and the world. I'll tell you why this happens. There is an invisible army whose sole purpose is to make sure that no one talks about China in a negative light or allows any inconvenient truths to be told. I can give you a real world example of how this invisible army works. Last week, somebody posted one of my videos on Reddit. Now it's a video which I'm quite proud of. It shows a lot of things that I filmed myself, a lot of my experiences that I wanted to share, a lot of the uncomfortable truths about China. It's called the China they don't want you to see. Now, in the beginning, there were a lot of positive comments, and I'm talking about constructive comments, people discussing the issue, Chinese people coming there, discussing the issues too, talking about how these things can be changed, talking about how maybe older generations do X, Y, Z. You know, people were having a good back and forth and it was overall positive and it was getting a lot of upvotes. But as soon as the Invisible Army woke up, and it's very easy to tell because it's on the Chinese time zone, so when it's morning in China, all of a sudden, the downvotes came. On top of that, awards were given to absolute nonsense comments attacking my character, which had nothing to do with the video or the video topic. So you know in Reddit you can um, pay money or you earn points and then you can give awards to certain comments, like gold awards or whatever. Awards were given to nonsensical comments that just went against my video. Now, the thing about that particular video is that it's impossible to disprove it because it's true. Everything that I showed in the video is something that I personally shot with my own camera. I'm in there. I was there. It's experiences that I rarely had. So it's impossible to disprove anything I said in the video. The only thing I could do is attack my character. And by attacking my character, try to prove that somehow these facts and truths that I showed in my video can't be real. It's a common tactic, but it was very interesting to see just how effective they are. Because if you go to read that post, first of all, the upvotes were downvoted. So although it was ga like gaining a lot of steam and a lot of recognition, it was being uh, subdued and taken down by all the downvotes by the Invisible Army. 
all of the comments that were in support of me were being downvoted into oblivion so you couldn't read them anymore. When somebody posted a nonsensical comment and a reasonable comment was put as a reply, that reasonable reply would also be downvoted into oblivion and so it wouldn't appear there. So if you're just browsing Reddit and you see this post which shows some very inconvenient truths about China and you click on it and all of the comments are, this guy is a liar, this guy is just a random English teacher, this guy is a, you know, people trying to attack me and my character, you probably wouldn't put a lot of stock in the video. But if you could read all of the comments that weren't downvoted into oblivion, because that's what happens with Reddit, too many downvotes on a comment and it disappears. Well, you would see constructive comments, people saying like how China can improve this, how China has improved certain things, how China wants to improve certain things, how we can help China improve. There were a lot of constructive comments, but they were all disappeared. So this is how this invisible army changes people's perceptions. Because if you're just a casual viewer of Reddit or any social media, and you come across something that has anything to do with the negativity of China, it's very difficult to form an opinion, a balanced opinion, because it's always very one-sided. This invisible army attacks all forms of media. They're active on media websites, and I'm talking about mainstream media. They're active on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and especially Quora, which just belongs to this invisible army. It is their website now. I consider myself a fairly balanced individual. I have over a thousand videos about China, and the majority of them are still very positive. If you want to see the good sides of China, I have television documentaries showing the best parts of the, the hospitality and the friendship of the Chinese people. I have videos, you know, spanning back over 12 years of me showing life in China, the good, the bad, the ugly. But unfortunately, these days, there is too much of a bias towards showing China off as this gleaming, amazing place and too few people who have real experience living in China showing the hard truths of China. The parts of China that the Chinese officials don't want you to see. The inconvenient parts of China that perhaps are a little shameful. I'm going to explain to you why it's so important for a YouTuber like myself to focus on these perhaps inconvenient truths of China. The slightly more negative things that people don't talk about. The reason is, number one, the mainstream media has no clue as to what's going on in China. Firstly, any journalist that's within the borders of mainland China is watched like a hawk. They're not allowed to freely report. They're not allowed to just go out into the countryside and observe what's going on and talk about it like I've been able to do. Sure, they can go to like state-sponsored events and that kind of thing, but they're kind of trapped. And that's if they haven't been kicked out of the country already, like most journalists have. Secondly, there's this sort of troop of foreign expats that live in mainland China, and their full-time job is to do these paid promotional government propaganda tours. I mean, it's usually just tourism tat, like, oh, look, here's the Great Wall, here's Mount Rushmore equivalent. You know, they go out, oh, look at the terracotta warriors, or look at the Great Wall of China, or look at the, you know, the usual kind of stuff. Or to, I don't know, blow the trumpet of Huawei and show how amazing the technology is and things. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with this. And in fact, it's nice to be able to go and see some of the more beautiful parts of China and the tourist attractions and that kind of thing. But the problem is there's no balance. Not one of these YouTubers are allowed to criticize the government, not even in the slightest. If they were to put out any video uh, expressing any dissatisfaction about any experiences they had, they would be forced to take them down and are forced to take them down. And this is in order to preserve their lifestyle and way of life within China. Now that's no freedom at all. I like the fact that I live here in America where I can criticize the Chinese government. I can't do that in China. I can't say Xi Jinping is an asshole in China. It's not possible. If I put out a video saying Xi Jinping's an asshole living in China, I would be shut down. Not only would this invisible army go after me and report me to the police and the army and the military and whatever, I mean, they've done that anyway, but I would legitimately have to deal with the police and the government and I would be either detained or deported. Here I can say that Biden and Trump are both assholes and I don't have the CIA knocking on my door or an entire army of um, liberals and rednecks coming to beat me up and try to get me deported. It doesn't work that way. It's called freedom of speech and it's something that China sorely lacks. And it's something 
that we should guard, and it's something that we should not allow this invisible army to take away from us. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, you know the drill. Unlike the invisible army, stay awesome.